new spot and we had high hopes, got there. Brannigan railed a beautiful brook trout right away and some cow water. Well, it looks like we're sharing the water with uh, some bigger friends today, which is usually not something I really enjoy. As soon as that uh, blade started moving on that skinny trout spinner, it just crushed it. We've got cows sitting right here. We decided to hit it just because you can't overlook this beautiful cut right here. And this is what we pulled out. <laughs> and we wanted to find some rookies. We found a rookie and we're like, oh, this is gonna be sweet. We're gonna start hammering on. I mean, first cast, he got one. And we realized it was just luck. It shouldn't have been brook trout right there. there but by all <laughs> standards, there should not have been brook trout in the stream, but Brannigan picked that one up. I picked another one up. This is what I love about trout. Look at the size of this lure. And look at the size of that fish. Beautiful little native brookie. Pounding a lure almost the same size as him. Had to work for him, but brand new water. Never know what to expect. You get a fish, you gotta be happy. We saw like one other fish, but overall it was, it looked like it was just deep water shallow, it was warm, it was eroded, full sun, terrible conditions. So we worked, we tried it, we learned it, we're never gonna go back. And uh, we were able to salvage the day with uh, another stretch of that water that we had actually. I had, I had hit one other time before, both caught some nice trout. water and looks like the rain's about to clear up out there so we're gonna get rolling. Let's do it. First good run right near the tail of it. Beautiful fish. Smoke the lure. Let's send them home. GTFO, we gotta get out of here. It's, uh, it looks a lot better on paper and we were hoping it was gonna be overcast all day or at least decent cloud cover and it's cleared up a lot, it's full sun. And this area, even though it's got some great improvements, I only pulled one out right away. Uh, Brannigan missed a couple, but it's just really inactive. So you gotta know when to hold them and fold them and we're gonna fold them and then hopefully go hold them somewhere else. But on to the next one. First spot didn't pan out, just it wasn't working. So we decided we were gonna give a couple of real nice runs a shot right here. And as you can see, there's a super, super sweet area up here with a deadfall. And sure enough, this guy came out, really nice, colorful brown trout. That's my first one today, that feels nice. Found a spot that's got a lot of trees, a lot of wooded area, more shade, and immediately we've had this is a second fish now, so quite a big, quite a big difference. Big fish, Brannigan. Big fish. Big fish. We have been busting our asses for a couple of days here, just getting left and right hooks thrown at us. I was waiting for that uppercut, but we came back with a wicked swing ourselves. And uh, this is one of my best trout of the year on these small streams here in the Driftless. Just creamed it. 